don't hide from your office pachyderm. Soloprena or corporate executive, you can be successful only if you look at your business truthfully. So, as tempting as it is to ignore those nasty little problems that crop up in the office, here's why you need to face them honestly and never ignore the elephant in your workplace. Baby elephants grow up. If nature is anything to go by, a small elephant is sure to become a bigger elephant in time. Your problem isn't going away. There will come a time when you'll have to deal with it, and you're better off doing it now. It will cost you less in time and hassle if you treat the problem with effective precision from the get-go. Stampede. While you've been trying to ignore the elephant in your office, you can be sure it hasn't been sitting still. It's probably been gathering momentum. Soon it may be out of control, and a situation out of control is like a stampede, destroying property and reputations as it hurdles along. Ultimately it will be stopped, leaving a disaster in its wake. Cleanup is going to cost you heavily. The herd's morale. Depending on the nature of your own elephant, you can be pretty certain that company morale, has been plummeting while you've been ignoring the issue. Although your staff or co-workers may not talk to you about the problem, they're definitely talking among themselves. If you're in a position of leadership in a corporation, this can undermine your authority. If you're a small business owner, you simply can't afford descending employees. Elephant with legs. This elephant has legs. Not taking care of it immediately can damage a whole host of things, staff relations, customer communications and ultimately your bottom line. It may get bigger, it may start to affect other parts of your business, it may even get you into legal hot water. Let's face it, a business that can't face its problems and deal with them quickly and efficiently doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. The cost will be to your profits and reputation. Addressing the pachyderm. Whatever shape or form your elephant may come in, show leadership. If you're dealing with one or two individuals, you can address the issue privately. If it's a wider problem or a client-related issue, try collaborating as a team. Set the bar by showing your employees that you are addressing the problem head-on. Acknowledge that you have expectations of them and tell them what they are. This is a good time to solicit team concerns and ask team members to propose solutions. You'll likely be impressed with the level of creativity and input. The good news is this will teach you a lot about your own team and also will help you spot rising stars. Lastly, if it's a company-wide issue, communicate, communicate, communicate. Particularly to your employees. Try conducting a workshop to help people understand the specific problem, how you expect to deal with it and how to try to prevent it happening again. Thanks for listening. Find more tips and training on our YouTube channel at bettergrouprealestate.com.